Welcome back to the channel and in today's video we're gonna create this very exciting motion poster design in After Effects. Create a new composition. I'll take 1920 by 1920, hit OK. Layer new and solid. Rename it BG and choose any color. Hit OK. And drag and drop the full image. You can scale it up and you can rename the layer. All right. So we just have to mask out the shadows. Select the pen tool and zoom in and mask out the shadows like what I'm doing here. All right, once you have that, hit M and select this and set this to subtract. Go to layer, new and solid and rename the shadows and make sure you choose the color black because this is going to be the shadow of the pizza, okay? Hit OK and move this just below the pizza layer, turn it off and select this ellipse tool and draw an ellipse here. You can always double click on the mask to refine the mask and move it around and reposition it, okay hit f to bring up the feather and increase the feather as you can see here i can just adjust the size of the shadow just like this all right let's animate this pizza layer hit p on the keyboard to bring up the position and move this play hat around one second set a keyframe Go back to the first and move the position up so that the pizza comes down from above. Select all the keyframes, F9, and select all the keyframes. Go to the graph editor with this button and make the graph something like this. And make sure you're at edit speed graph just like what I'm doing here. All right, go and select the shadow layer and we're gonna animate the opacity of the shadows. Hit T on the keyboard, set a keyframe and move back and set it to zero. Select all the keyframes and hit F9. And click on the position here and type in wiggle and you can select this wiggle and you can input some values inside this. Say for instance, 0.5 comma and 50 and if you click away and play it back, you have some random bouncing of that pizza layer okay so you can experiment with your own values here and you can input your own values as per your need okay all right once you come up with your own values it's time to animate the shadows here okay you just have to input some random numbers here in, in the opacity values so that you have a random opacity going on like this like what i'm doing here you don't have to be precise just do just a random values here throughout the timeline okay so you have this it's time to drag in the other elements which is the tomato just drag and drop this tomato layer and scale it down move it up Hit P on the keyboard, hold down Shift and hit R to bring up the position and rotation. Set a keyframe here and move it here and go to the last frame and move the tomato down and rotate it randomly like this. Same for all the other elements, which is the tomato in half like this. Drag and drop it, scale it down and reposition it somewhere here randomly and you can do the same, hit P and R, set a keyframe for both the layers and you can animate the position and rotation like we did before. Alright, once you're done with that, go to the effects and presets and type in blur and drag and drop the Gaussian blur on top of that layer add a random Gaussian blur for all the layers so the whole idea is to simulate a fake depth of field so the blur values has to be 
random. All right, it's time to create a text. Type in your text. All right, reposition the text layer. And drag it down just below the pizza layer. Select this pizza and scale it down. And the whole design depends on you. I just added a new text layer and a solid background like this using shapes go to the effects and presets and type in transform drag and drop this transform on the text here and go and input the values of this queue negative 13 and copy this and you can paste it on all the shape layer and the text layer okay and I'm gonna use the text animation presets here drag and drop it you can download these text animation presets from the link below drag and drop the text animation presets here and you have a very cool text animation like this select the shape collapse this rectangle Go to transform and uncheck this and animate this from zero. Set a keyframe somewhere around here. Set a keyframe, go a few frames and set this back to 100. So you have this shape animation, okay? Select both these keyframes, F9, go to the graph and make the graph something like this, all right? I also added an extra text layer like this. The process is just like the same for the previous text and shape layer. You just have to reposition it in front of the pizza and you can, you know, be creative with the colors and the fonts, okay? I created an adjustment layer and move it above all the other layers here. Go to the effects and presets and type in Gaussian and I'm gonna select this Gaussian blur and drag and drop it on the adjustment layer. And I'm gonna animate this blurness of the Gaussian blur here around seven seconds here from zero to maybe around 30. And I added a text which is called now and added a solid which is black and move it just below the adjustment layer and hit T on the keyboard to bring up the opacity, set it to 50. And I'm gonna set this color back to yellow and I'm gonna animate the opacity of this from 0 to 50. Now that we have the black solid overlay, the text is much more visible. All right, let's go and drop the bounce from above text animation presets on the text. I also drag and drop this telephone on top of that. Add a fill of white and animate the scale of this telephone. Alright, that's all I have for this time guys. I hope you learned something from this video. If you want to learn more After Effects, you can watch this video. This is Motion Designer and I will see you in my next video. Take care.